Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rolitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope you guys are well. In today's reading, we're going to be taking a look at um, what do they think about you. So I'm going to put a trigger warning on this. I'm not really sure what exactly is going to come out of this reading, but I want to put a trigger warning. This is also geared towards romance, but it doesn't have to be somebody that you're currently with. It can be a past person, an ex, um, someone you just met. So whoever you're kind of curious about, you know, what is this person thinking about me right now, um, you can use this reading. You can watch one pile, you can watch all piles, you can watch, you know, different piles for different people. But the intention here is that we're picking up on the current energy, okay? So not like, what do they think of you then? It's like, what right now is going on? What else do I have to say? If you do like this content, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me to kind of know what you guys are like liking and what you're not liking. Um, and I hope you're well. It's so nice to connect with your energy yet again. So we have three piles to choose from today. Da -da -da. Pile number one, we have the Pluto Altar Spray. Pile number two, we have the Kishar Grounding Oil. Pile number three, we have the Open Heart Flower Essence. So if you did need some more time, you can always go ahead and pause the video here. I'm going to go ahead and start with pile number one. Mojo, what are you doing? Hey, where are you going, Mojo? Okay. Hello, Pal One. How are you? If you chose the Pluto Altar Spray, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well. I hope you are doing well. Such a pleasure to connect with you. So let me go ahead and tap right in. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy here of Pal Number One? Who chose the Pluto Altar Spray? I'm also asking for the purposes of this reading that you call in the energy of the person on their mind. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. We ask that you continue to keep Pile 1 safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. We love and appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm feeling like this person is very mechanical. I don't know if like they are kind of in this energy of like being very logical. Definitely air sign energy coming through um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm also hearing, this is weird, but I'm hearing something about the Cuban Missile Crisis. So this person could feel like there was some sort of like a close call here between the two of you that could be from Cuba. You guys could have traveled to Cuba. This person does have a lot of feelings, but they really are uncomfortable with them. I feel like this is definitely an avoidant attachment type. What is Pow One's person? What do they think of them right now? What does Pow One's person think of Pow One? Ace of Wands, but it came up in reverse. What does Pile One's person think of Pile One right now? And we have the Three of Cups, but it came up in reverse as well. The deck, by the way, is not in reverse. I did just check because of all the reversals. Um, so, okay. Ace of Wands in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse. I feel for many of you, there's very minimal contact here between you and this individual. Could have been third-party energy here as well. This person misses you a lot. They especially miss the intimate moments. If you guys ever got to that level, let me just say this person's really, really thinking a lot about that. I feel if this person chose somebody else over you, they are definitely regretting their decisions. They are feeling like they messed everything up here. And there is definitely this energy of feeling very low, um, feeling very like aware, I guess, of how much they've messed things up here. So this person is feeling quite upset. They miss you. They wish that they were closer to you. And they're re reminiscing quite a lot, specifically about the intimate moments that the two of you did share. This person feels like you are quite far away from them or quite far detached from them. Pile one's person, please. How do they view them? Eight of Pentacles. This person sees you as someone who's incredibly hardworking. You could have told this person that you needed to um, stop hanging out with them because you were focusing on work or money, something of this nature. This person wishes that you would work on this connection with them, but they're not entirely sure if you would actually want to talk to them if they even approached you at this point person is a little bit on on edge for sure they're not sure like do you want to talk to me or not would it be more beneficial for me to um you know not talk to you like what do you want this person i don't really feel knows what you guys are wanting or what you are hoping for 
This is definitely somebody who's struggling a little bit to see the path forward. What else here? We have the Knight of Pentacles. I think that this person, you guys could be an earth sign, this person could be an air sign, okay? Because I'm getting a lot of, obviously we have double earth here, hermit on the bottom of the deck, Virgo energy. This person sees you as someone who's like not easy to forget and you're not easy to please either. You guys could be very focused on work, money, finances. Um, I feel like this person feels detached from you because they don't feel like they have a, like a part in your life anymore. You could have told this person, I need to focus on other things besides this relationship. They do see you as someone who's very practical, logical, and pretty good at like creating a lot of positive things for yourself. Like you guys are definitely what I would call like, um, like you're adventurous. You, you make an impact. You're not afraid to kind of like move forward, especially with work, but this person feels like you don't have interest in them romantically, at least not anymore. You guys could have met this person through work or there could be some sort of a work connection. You could have worked with this person. Just heard podcast. What else here? We have effort. Yeah, you guys are high like value and you require effort. Attempting to make things work, putting energy and action into building something solid, showing others mature interest and the importance of this connection. I think this person felt like you were almost more mature than what they were expecting or something. You're a very high value person. You know your worth. You put in a lot of work and effort on yourself and you expect the same thing from a partner. And I don't think this person feels like they could have met your expectations. There's definitely something coming through here about this individual feeling like they just don't have the same um, value as you, like you are a lot more of a high value person. This person does not feel like they um, are good enough essentially for you. We have energy. An intense force is pulling you two together, an unseen force that can be felt, that is undeniable. The force can indicate power, positive or negative vibes. I, I almost thought that that said powerful. So one thing I will say is I feel this person sees you as someone who is remarkably powerful. Powerful. You guys are very much um, magnetic. And I think that this person views you as someone who's very energetically magnetic and who can create a lot for yourself. You guys are not um, here to mess around. You're here to do something big with your life. And I feel like this person is in awe of you, honestly. They still think about you a lot. This person is constantly thinking about you, but they definitely don't feel like They don't feel, this person does not feel like you have, like, space in your life for them. You could have told this person that. You could have been like, I don't actually have space in my life for you. Or, like, I'm busy, essentially, because I do think you guys are genuinely very busy. But this person, they know not to kind of get in your way when you're accomplishing things. What else here? We have determined, persistent, still holding on flowers and gifts. This person, they see you as someone who is very determined to get what you want. You could have told this person, like, I'm going to be successful here regardless of, you know, you being in my life or not being in my life. Like, I think this person just feels like you are someone who's got their shit together and you have a specific purpose and path. This person is in awe of that. I don't think this person feels like they have a specific purpose or path because um, there's a little bit of like an energy of feeling like you're too good for them. You also have keeping a promise. This person also views you as very trustworthy. When you say you're going to do something, you 100% of the time do it. You don't mince words. Um, you guys are very aware of like the value of, you know, your word. And I think you're very like impeccable. Someone here could have read the, the four agreements here because I'm definitely feeling that energy coming through here. This person sees you as steady, committed, focused. Um, they could feel like you're not focused on them. This person could have done something immature. Or maybe there's been a time difference. Like maybe you met this person when you were like in college and now you're in a different space, but this person still is like projecting that old way of seeing you. How does Pile One's person view Pile One right now? If you're being helped, heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see results yet, okay? And we have playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation. I feel like this person feels like you're now too serious or something. Like you might have used to be more fun or maybe you used to be more open to having fun and excitement. 
but now this person is viewing you as somebody who is very serious and they wish that you could kind of tap back into that old version of yourself. You could have helped this person tremendously and they are wanting to step forth here and thank you. You impacted this person in major ways is kind of what I feel. What else here? How does pile one's person view them right now? We have challenge. Yeah, this person feels like it's kind of hard to get access to, you know, like you guys are very serious and I feel like this person feels like you don't want to talk to them at this particular time. We have sensuality. I'm telling you, if you guys ever slept with this person, they think about that all of the time. Like literally, it's all always on their mind. They miss that that chance and that opportunity to be very um, close to you. But you could have told this person, you know, I'm no longer interested. I feel like they don't feel like they have access to you and that's really stressing them out. But this person views you as someone who is incredibly high value, honestly. Um, you don't really take any shit and you, you have a purpose. You have a path here that you're just following through on. And that this is very um, beautiful. This person is fascinated by you, honestly. So that's what I have, Pile One. What a reading. This person, they're also showing me a coffin. So I don't know if you told this person like that there would not be a chance to get back together or something. This person is not feeling like they have an opportunity to connect with you or they're concerned that you don't want to talk to them anymore. But they do think very highly of you. This person sees you as someone who's pretty amazing, for real. I just want you to know that, okay? Pile two, how are you? If you chose this Kishar grounding oil, and this is your reading, welcome. I hope you are well. It's such a pleasure to connect with you. Just gonna go ahead here and dive right into your energy so that I'm best able to channel. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number two who chose the Kishar grounding oil? Please come forth with messages of truth, <coughs> clarity, and accuracy for pile two so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. I ask that you continue to keep Pile 2 safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please continue to support them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this person's trying to figure out, like I keep hearing the word layout. So they're trying to get like a layout of who you are right now. This person feels like you've changed a lot. Um, some of you could have gone through a lot of body changes, specifically like weight loss or weight gain, because this person is taking you to your body. They have a high awareness of your body here. This person feels like there is like a difficulty here because I keep seeing a staircase and they're at the bottom of the stairs. So they could feel like they need to elevate to meet you. Um, there could be an age gap here too. Some of you could be taking care of an elder around you. This person does kind of view you as a bit of a challenge. I'm not going to lie. I feel like they sometimes feel like they're not entirely sure how to connect with you or like what exactly it is that you want. They do view you as someone who's got like a whole, like a whole root um, or a whole like push. You have something yet you're trying to accomplish. This person does not want to get in the way. Pile two, please. How does the person view them? Someone's name here could be Christy, Crystal. Four of Pentacles. You're held back from this person. And again, you know, when I was seeing them at the bottom of the stairs, I was kind of already getting that. They're held back. This person doesn't feel like they have access to you. They feel like you don't want them um, near your life. We have the hanged man. Um, Pisces energy coming through. I feel like you guys could have not talked to this person in a long time or something because they're definitely showing me that it has been a while since you guys have connected. This person no longer feels like you want to talk to them. They still think about you each and every day. They wonder if you are still thinking about them too. This person views you as someone who's difficult to access. Your energy is closed off. You don't want to access this person. You don't want this person having access to you. Queen of Swords. Yeah. One of you could be like a water sign, specifically Pisces. The other person could have heavy air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That Queen of Swords, I mean, I always call her the bitch of the deck. So there's definitely this like cutting energy coming through here. Like you are not willing to let this person come into your life or have access to you. You really did cut this person um, off quite a lot. Like you were really hard nosed with this person. You cut the boundary and you said you cannot cross this boundary. So this person views you as someone who's really standing in your integrity and power. You you told this person what, what, what the deal was. Four of cups. A lot of fours here. Someone here could be a life path four. 
they view you as someone who's like a little bit apathetic to them, confused. You don't really like this person or you're not very warm to them. They don't feel like they get access to you anymore. This person is telling me that they still feel like quite a headache from the connection here. So they think about you a lot. They're worried that you don't think about them. This person does not feel connected to you anymore. They know you've pulled away and they, they miss you. It's kind of what's coming through here. This person does miss you. What else here? Pile number two, please. What does their person think about them? We have the wolf. A wolf in sheep's clothing that hides behind a soft person. Yeah, what the heck happened here? I feel like there was an argument here um, for this person to see you as a wolf. Like you, you had to, you put this person down and you told this person what you really felt. Wanting others to believe they're an angel when they're a total demon in disguise. That's so funny. Use total discretion. Yeah, you guys show this person a different side of your personality and they are hella shocked. I feel like you, this person had you all wrong. Like they could have thought you were someone who was very easy, simple, kind. And I'm not saying you're not that. I genuinely feel for many of you, this person did something that made you feel like, what the hell are you doing? And you just had to cut this person off. What else here? We have hidden feelings. Keeping feelings under the surface and not sharing them. They're choosing to hide their true feelings from you at this time, not feeling comfortable with confessing. What's interesting here is I kind of feel like this is the way this person views you. They feel like you actually like them more than what you're sharing, but I feel like you have cut this person off or you've really distanced yourself from this person. This person feels like you do not want to be close to them by any means. Like you, you want them at a distance is kind of what this feels like to me. Like you might have told this person, I am not interested in this connection, like please stay away from me. But yet this person, they do feel like you have feelings for them. You're just keeping them hidden from this person. What else here? What else here? Pile number two. What is their person? What is the person on your mind? Think about them. We have Inferno. Chaos, job loss, everything crumbling. Okay, this is kind of funny too, but for some of you, I do feel like this person feels like you're quite powerful. They could, because I feel like this person almost thinks that you put some sort of magic on them to keep them trapped or to confuse them, to uh, like really mess with their heads. But this person feels very connected to you and they are concerned because they don't see you in the same way. Like they feel like you are not that interested in them. For some of you, I feel like mostly this person feels like you have caused this big thing to happen in their life. Like they are kind of blaming you for a lot of these things that have occurred for them. We also have snooping, drive-by, stalking, social media, psychic, and tarot readings. This person feels like you're nosy or they could feel like you know a shit ton about them. Like I feel like this person sees you as someone who is very aware, hyper aware almost. You know what this person is thinking and feeling. You can you can sense that. You can understand that on some level. Um, and this person feels like you can read them like a book. They really don't like that. This person has a hard time keeping anything from you. This person's also watching you, you guys, especially online. They're still trying to figure out information. Pile two, please. How does their person view them? You have explore your options. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make a change. This person feels like you have other options here in love, especially, and they are really stressed out about this. They see you as someone who's very positive and kind and, you know, just really beautiful. This person feels like you have a lot of different possibilities for love that are around you and this stresses this person out as well. They really don't like that. They want to be the only person on your mind. So the fact that you could have other people here is something that is really stressful to them. What else here? We have morning affirmations. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. This person feels like you're just working on yourself. You are not really letting this person into your life. I feel like you're very protective of your own energy. I will say this person seems to view you as quite mystical and spiritual. They really are feeling like you are someone who's um, like really one of a kind, honestly. I think this person, they feel like you and them the connection is kind of over, but they still feel very much in awe of you or like somehow indebted to you. I do think this person has not told you exactly how much they, they truly feel here because I definitely feel like they've been keeping that quiet or private. Like they haven't been sharing with you what's really on their mind. This person wants to take you on a holiday too, tropical holiday. 
but you've been mean to this person, or so they're telling me. What else here? They have unplugged. Yeah, you guys have unplugged from this person. You don't care anymore. It's kind of what I'm feeling here. This is how this person's viewing you. They feel like you don't care about them anymore. They have forgiveness, but it came up in reverse. So I definitely also feel here like this person feels like um, you are not going to forgive them for something that happened here. They could feel like they're not going to forgive you. But to be honest, I think this person still thinks about you like a lot um, more than they would like to admit. But you guys are very independent, solo. You're working on something, but it's like your own thing. You don't really feel like you need um, anyone's approval at this time like you're just kind of focusing on your own thing and I feel like this person is seeing you in that light they're very much in awe of you by, by, by the way like this person views you as someone who's very very special unique um, and kind of cold or detached from them anyways Ooh, what happened here pile two will you please tell me so I can so I can be a nosy Nelly myself <laughs> because dang this is an <laughs> intense energy here between you and this person. I will say this, that this person obviously seems to be very like connected to you still, or they still feel very connected to you. Um, even if there was some sort of like big argument here, it hasn't stopped them from thinking about you constantly. Hi, pal three, how are you? If you chose this open heart, um, uh, full of flower essence, then this is your reading. I am really excited to connect with you. I'm just gonna go ahead here and tap right in. Um, let me connect. So Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number three who chose the open heart flower essence. Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile three so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything you do. Please continue to keep pile three safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days that they might live. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm already twirling my hair, so I feel like this person feels very, like, playful, or they really like your playful energy, very attracted to you. I also heard true, so this person feels like you're true, you're truthful, you're honest, your name could be true, true blue, um, you're trustworthy. This person loves your body because they keep being shown, like, um, uh, Aphrodite, so this person's very attracted to you physically. They feel like you have a really beautiful body. Um, this person feels like you can be quite reactive and sometimes very, like, hot and cold is what they're also saying to me. They have a lot of memories with you. Some of you have known this person for a long time, um, maybe even since you were a teenager or like college because they keep showing me like, um, you know those things like we used to watch on like th through the, it was like round and you put it on your eye and then it had all these like weird patterns. They keep showing me that thing. Is it a kaleidoscope? Is that what that's called? Um, so I feel like this person feels like you have a kaleidoscope of memories. Those things are cool. I would like to find one. Pile three, please. What is Pal 3's person? Think about Pal 3. Ooh, we had the world come out right away. Okay, this person feels like you are their world. Um, you guys could have closed a big chapter recently too. This person's very proud of you. Seven of Wands. The, you and this person could have had some sort of argument or major disagreement on something here. This person is pretty stressed out because they feel like you're at a distance from them. I feel like they still feel your energy around them quite a lot and they want to make amends here. This person does not like fighting with you. They are very much um, telling me that they love you a lot. This person views you as incredibly high value. What else here? Six of Swords, you guys have walked away from this person or you've left them in the past. You guys could be traveling right now too. There could be distance here. You could live somewhere else from this person. Um, I am noticing here the Six of Swords, she's looking behind her back. So I think this person wonders if you ever think about them or if you um, have fond feelings or memories of them or if you have just decided to move on without like giving this person much thought at all. This is what they're thinking about. We have six of pentacles, double six. Six um, is the planet of Venus, right? So beauty, love, harmony. You guys feel like fat six were born in June. This person feels like you're kind of at a distance from them. Um, you don't really seem very like open to this person anymore. That's how they're viewing you. They kind of feel like you don't really want to talk to them anymore or you have decided to move your energy into a different space. Um, this person feels like you're very charitable. You're very kind to other people. Um, you could be very adventurous as well. You like to explore, you like to travel, ex like go, go outside of your comfort zone. They're very um, inspired by that. 
What else here? Pile number three. How do they view? How does this person view pile threes? We have lost, not knowing what to do or where to go in the situation. Someone may have lost themselves in the connection. They need to find themselves having no direction. This person definitely feels like they like you more than you like them, honestly. They feel like you've moved away from them into a different space, into a different time. And they're kind of just left wondering about you, like hoping for you, praying for you. This person doesn't feel like you are interested in them anymore. I feel like this person feels confused as to what you want. We have the dark. You can't see things clearly. The truth is being hidden from you. Your intuition may be clouded or blocked. People may be easily hiding things from you. The thing is, I don't actually feel like you guys are like this. I kind of feel like this person might might have been almost like a little paranoid or like expecting the worst from you, you know? Because um, I feel like this person doesn't really know who you are. They don't really understand you on some level. It's kind of what this feels like to me, especially with Lost in the Dark. I feel like this person has been very confused um, since there's been like a, a break here or separation or distance. They feel like they have gone through a lot through this connection where you could have put this person through like a dark night of the soul. They're very um, much missing you. What else here? We have the X. We have unfaithful, love triangle, X in question. For some of you, um, maybe you know you weren't really over an X when you got together with this person and they still feel that they're really upset over that. For others of you, I feel like it could be this person who had an ex and they weren't really ready for the connection here. And so you decided to move away from them. Either way, this person is really stuck stressing out over um, your potential to be in other connections with other people. They feel like they don't have access to you anymore because you are in a different space and they feel very stressed out about this. This person wants to have access to you. What else here? We have egg on their face, ashamed, backfired, got caught. If this person got caught doing anything here and you decided to walk away, I feel like they see you as someone who's in a lot better of a place than they are and they're still really hanging on to your energy. This person is really missing you. They feel low, they feel sad, they feel very disappointed in the way that they've set things up here. And I feel like they wish that they had made a better um, approach with you, that they had uh, decided and, and approached the connection with you in a more honest and truthful way. This person definitely feels like they've messed up a lot. This person thinks about you like quite frequently and they're embarrassed. How does Pile Three's person view them? You have tranquility. Make time to relax, be still, enjoy your solitude, indulging in much needed self care. Yeah tranquil right you guys are no longer with this person you're in a different energy entirely like you've moved away you don't really care to spend time with this person anymore either you prefer to be with yourself i think this person feels like you are detached from them you don't want access to them which is likely the truth right we also have empowerment you're more powerful than you realize it's safe for you to be powerful yeah What's interesting here too is I think this person like massively underestimated you. I feel like they did not realize how powerful you actually are until it was like too little too late. Now they can't pretend anything else. Like now they, they know that you are um, incredibly and remarkably powerful and they can't pretend like you're not. Like this person just views you for who you truly are right now. They are having a bit of a hard time um, without you in their life. I feel like they're quite sad. But they view you as someone who's self-empowered. You're moving on into a different space. You don't care anymore. You're not playing small to benefit this person. What else here? We have gift. This person views you as a gift. They view you as a gift from spirit. And I feel like they wish that they had recognized that sooner. You did force this person to really look at their shadow side though. And I feel like this is something that they are having a hard time with. We have healing. One thing I feel like this person wishes is that they wish that they had thanked you for your ability to heal them. I think you spent a lot of time trying to help this person um, and you just weren't able to see the benefits of what you did here to them. This person views you as a natural healer, but they also view you as someone who's not willing to take any shit and like you've moved on. I don't even think you really think about this person as much as they think about you because let me just tell you that this person thinks about you a lot. 
they feel very connected to you still and I think what's stressing them out the most is that they don't feel like you are around them anymore. For most of you I feel like there is some sort of pronounced distance here like um, this person seems to feel like you're very far away from them and that's definitely like a high uh, form of stress for this person. They wish that you were closer to them. They wish that you had more time just with them. They wish that they could just like talk to you and have like an honest conversation. They're very sorry. I feel like this person is very sorry for a lot of the things that they've done here. They wish that they had made smarter choices and they hope one day you will forgive them. But this person feels you're on your own path. You're, you're focusing on yourself. You do not really care about this person anymore. And that's also really hard for them to acknowledge because ultimately they wanna be closer to you. So yeah, that's what I have, I have three. Um, dang, whatever this is, you know, just continue doing what you're doing because I feel like this person, they are aware that you are very special and you're on your own path here. Um, as much as they want to be close to you, I feel like they just can't. So yeah, that's what I have. Sending you a hug, my loves. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.